The Epcot International Food and Wine Festival is just around the corner. This festival has some of the best food you'll find on Walt Disney World property. And if you're wondering what some of the must-eat items are, then we've got you covered. In today's adventure, we'll share the five dishes we think you can't miss, an honorable mention, and some of our favorite must-dos. Let's count them down, starting with number five. Number five on our list is the Brew Wing Lab because it's a classic. You can't go wrong with wings, and at this booth you'll find a variety of wings to try. We're partial to the garlic parmesan wings. We love the cheesy and garlic flavor of these savory wings. And we can't leave the brew wing without mentioning the pickle milkshake. It's back on the menu this year, and we think it's worth a try. We found the pickle flavor to be very mild and not in your face. And the number four slot is the Germany booth with the Schnickernudeln. Schnickernudeln? Sorry for butchering that. This cheesy pasta dish with ham and onions hits every time. We love the creamy, cheesy, gooey goodness of this dish. It's rich, filling, and shareable. If you like mac and cheese, you're gonna like this one. What surprised us is that this dish is no longer on the Emile's Fromage Montage. And speaking of Emile's Fromage Montage, let's talk cheese. One of the favorite things we love is this annual cheese crawl. Be sure to pick up your festival guide to keep track of all the booths and to collect your stamps for the cheese crawl. Collect five stamps to complete your cheesy challenge and you'll get a specialty food item. Here are some of our favorite stops on the crawl. Starting with Greece, we pick up the griddle cheese with the pistachios and honey. We find this one to be sweet and savory at the same time with the honey and cheese combination. Next up is Brazil. Here you'll find the Pau de Queso, a delicious cheese-filled bread served hot and delicious. And no surprise, one of our favorite items on the cheese crawl also makes our top five. Keep watching to find out which dish makes the list. You'll need two more items to complete the challenge. Let us know in the comments below which two items would you choose. This little group loves a french fry, and these do not disappoint. When they are served hot and fresh, it's hard to pick a favorite here. We're partial to the sea salt and malt vinegar and the barbecue bacon fries. Surprisingly, the sea salt and malt vinegar fries are missing from this year's menu, but the dessert fries, otherwise known as the sweet potato casserole fries, are back along with the yuca fries, which are worth a try too. We're never going to stop loving this booth. Another part of the Epcot food and wine experience is the Eat to the Beat concert series. The shows run nightly from August 29th through November 18th in the American Gardens Theater at 5.30, 6.45, and 8. Be sure to check the festival website for the concert calendar to see if one of your favorite bands will be playing during your trip. You can purchase a dining package at a number of the restaurants around the park to guarantee your spot into one of the shows. The prices will vary by restaurant and whether you're having breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And now it's time for our favorite item of the Emile Fromage Montage. And this one is hotly contested in our little group. Some say it's salty, and I say salt is the spice of life. We're talking about the Canadian cheddar and bacon soup served with a pretzel roll. This dish is a staple at the Canadian Pavilion that you can also find on the menu at Le Cellier, the table service restaurant in this pavilion. We love the flavors here, the heartiness of the soup, and the slight hint of spicy heat. And if you're traveling to Epcot with Littles, then you'll want to give Remy Ratatouille's Hide and Squeak a try. This is a must-do for our little guy who enjoys the challenge of finding a hidden Remy and the completer prize at the end. As a quick tip for you, if you're pressed for time, you can collect your prize at any time during the scavenger hunt, even at the time of purchase. You can pick up your scavenger hunt map and completer prize from the Creation Shop, Disney Traders, or Royal Traveler. And before we get to our favorite item at the festival, let's shout out an honorable mention. And for that, we're traveling to Spain. Paella, anyone? It looks like they've changed it up a bit this year with squid ink rice, shrimp, bay scallops, and octopus. It was delicious last year, and now it's on our must-do list. Our favorite booth every year is the Hawaii booth and the pork sliders. The sliders are served with a sweet and sour pineapple, chutney, and spicy mayo. We could literally park ourselves at this booth and be happy for the day. The pork is tender and sweet. You cannot go wrong with a stop by this booth. 
While you're there, try out the Alani Sunrise, a refreshing adult beverage served with vodka, dull pineapple juice, and grenadine. Let us know in the comments below which booths are your favorite and what new ones are you looking forward to trying. We hope that you found this video helpful as you plan how you will eat your way through the festival. Be sure to check out our Disney food review playlist for more good eats on property. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so that you know when the next adventure begins. And no matter where your next adventures take you, we hope that you enjoy the journey. Bye now.